Hey guys, it's Zach, flying solo. This week we're going to be covering a few questions about traps, uh, horde bash, and talking a little bit about Halloween. Before we do that, just wanted to make a note that in uh, previous videos we talked about uh, our hero balance uh, and the fact that we need to adjust the trunk uh, of the tree uh, in order to bring the ability damage into the place where it needs to be. Uh, we've done that in 171, so please go back and play, give us some more feedback. Uh, early, early signs is that things are feeling better, uh, that ninjas have become viable in the high end game, um, but we're going to be continuing to read that. Uh, I've heard some reports that health traps now need to, we need to go take a look at those. Uh, so it's on our radar and we'll be doing that soon. Would it be possible to add elements to traps so they can be more effective against high level enemies? Yes, uh, traps are something uh, that we want to make sure are effective both in the early game as well as in the late game, uh, making sure that they can do some type of elemental damage uh, or that you have choice in how you do that is something that's important to us. Uh, we're going to be continuing to work on that. Uh, Two new traps that we've added uh, coming out in our Halloween update uh, should give you some more possibilities in that space, and we're looking forward to your feedback. Why didn't you unlock Horde Bash to everyone's proper level? Uh, that's a great question. Uh, it was something that we had talked about internally quite a bit about how do we want to allow players to progress uh, throughout the Horde Bash mode. Initially, what we decided to do was start players from the beginning of Horde Bash so that way they could earn the skill points necessary to be able to build out their forts and then to be able to play at the higher levels. Uh, as we saw community feedback, you guys, you guys were spot on. Uh, the challenge wasn't there uh, for players that progressed further into the game. Uh, so, you know, in 171 uh, that we released, we've made a change to allow you to progress uh, from where you are unlocked in your main quest progression. Uh, we hope that that uh, is working better and we're going to continue to monitor, monitor the change and see what else we can do to make Horde Bash a more enjoyable experience. Why implement a progression system that will go away after the event? and limit to six attempts per day. So uh, speaking of Horbash, uh, there seem to be quite a few different threads uh, on Reddit and YouTube and, and in our forums. And so what we want to do is take a look and try to answer that generally. Uh, so one of the questions uh, that seemed to be coming up quite a few times was why did we, why did, can you only earn six skill points per day? Uh, one of the things that we try to do in the game is create limits that, that allow players that you know, can't play 24-7 all the time uh, to be able to kind of keep, uh, keep progress at the same rate as players that can play all the time. Uh, we're not sure if that six number is right, and we're not sure if the 24-hour period is right, uh, but this was the, something that was easy to do for this event. Uh, we're looking for your guys' feedback, uh, and we'll continue to monitor that and make changes uh, as we go into next set of events. Additionally, one of the questions that come up was, uh, why are we creating progression uh, when, uh, when it seems like this event's gonna go away? Well, the progression is something that we are actually talking internally is like, hey, how do we wanna preserve that progression into the next event uh, for our next Horde Bash event? Uh, it's something that we're talking about. Uh, so we'd love to hear your guys' thoughts and feedback on, do you wanna keep those skill points? Do you wanna keep the choices that you've made? Um, and how might you guys want us to allow you to use that progression in other ways? Oh, and to the Outlander fragments, yes, we missed it. Uh, we've added those in, uh, so that way they respawn, uh, and that's updated in 171. What happened to the Halloween event? Halloween, we are so excited. Uh, our team is, you know, we're fanatic on Halloween. We did, we did, we did, we've done some awesome things in the past. Uh, so now, here we come. So Halloween event is going to be a quest driven story quest driven event uh we're going to have eight new heroes we're going to have two weapons uh it's going to be an amazing experience we have hexylvania where uh, we've put together a new biome uh, for everybody to enjoy and the difficulty is going to be based upon where you're at in your quest progression uh so that way you'll make sure we're going to make sure that you're going to have some amazing content uh to come play uh look forward to more details uh next week Thank you guys so much. We really appreciate all the feedback. Uh, if you guys have any questions, please leave them here on YouTube or on our forums, uh, and we'll be sourcing those for our next video. Have a good one.